evening. On behalf of everyone before you, I would like to welcome you all to the unveiling of Diverse Impact Trumpet Ensemble. It is a pleasure having you here, and we hope you enjoy the music and everything we have to offer you in the music community, and that you continue to support and show your love for Diverse Impact. So again, we welcome you and hope you enjoy. March 6, 2013, in the Foster Tanner Music Building, Recital Hall, on the campus of Florida a and University, five trumpet players, Leroy Lubin, Gene Vilpin, Frank L. St. Louis, Brian Roberts, and Kurt Gavin II, came together to simply play for their trumpet studio recital class. The five performed the piece Fantasia Bra Brasileira, which received and still receives great reviews from those in attendance, and set the tone for a promising future for the group. It was in preparation for this performance that Brian Roberts and Kurt Gavin got together and decided that the five should go on stage under a unique name. It was Kirk Gavin who later donned the group with the name Diverse Impact with the reasoning that they were all different, they looked different, came from different cities, states, backgrounds, and played with different styles and went together to make an impact on any audience. Under the title of Diverse Impact, the group went on to do many things, great things. The group has performed for various events for Florida a and University, NIMS Middle School, FAMU, DRS, Chillax Teen Center, various local organizations in Tallahassee, and they have also opened for the FAMU Wind Symphony and the Big Bend Community Orchestra. Over the past year, Diverse Impact has grown in numbers, gaining members from Florida State University and Tallahassee Community College. Even though many of its members are not able to be active at all times, it can be said that all who have played, rehearsed, and performed with Diverse Impact will hold those memories forever. Today, Diverse Impact has decided to branch out and take on younger trumpet players in Tallahassee in hopes to keep them in school and involved in music. Diverse Impact Trumpet Ensemble will continue to strive to make a difference in the music community and reach for higher heights, staying true to its purpose and motto. To build professional trumpet performers that possess charismatic stage presence, character of the highest caliber, and the ability to impact diversely while creating lifelong friends and serving our community.
trumpet. This musical instrument is the highest register in the brass family. Trumpets are one of the oldest musical instruments dating back over a thousand years BC. Earlier trumpets did not have valves, but modern trumpets usually have three valves, either piston valves or rotary. Each valve increases the length of tubing when pressed, thereby lowering the pitch. There are several types of trumpets, such as the four you see in front of you. First off, we have the most common of these trumpets, the B-flat trumpet.
are doing today. I really appreciate everybody coming. Right. Um, this is diverse, diverse impact before you. And our purpose and motto, again, is to build professional trumpet performers that possess, stage, uh, possess charismatic stage presence, character of the highest caliber, and the ability to impact diversely while creating lifelong friends and serving our community. Uh, diverse impact, the, th um, the different points in our purpose and motto, which I wish to point out for everybody, is first of all, professional. Professional, its meaning is of, relating to, or connected with a profession, or of a person engaged in a specific, uh, specified activity as one's main paid occupation rather than as a pastime. Now, a lot of us in music, we don't really get paid for playing, you know, as we go along in primary schools from elementary to middle to high school, and really college too as well. You don't really get paid for playing. Spend all this time practicing, but you don't get any money for it. That's okay. But, um, but one of our purpose for everyone who comes through diverse impact is, you know, you, you have to be professional. As a, as a musician, you may not get paid for picking up an instrument. You may not get paid for practicing. You may not get paid for playing for certain gigs, for playing for your school. But you always have to be professional. And one way of being professional, you have to have hard work. A lot of kids nowadays, they, they practice. They think they practice their instruments enough, and they think that they played enough. So, but but they don't get paid for it. So, why should they treat it as a profession? They don't get paid for it. But one thing that my parents always tell me is that if you don't if you don't put the work behind you, you're not going to get paid for it. People aren't going to look at you and see your work ethic if you're not putting forth any effort. They're not going to pay you for playing. You have to have a professional attitude. You have, to, you have to dress a certain way when playing certain things in certain venues. You know, you have to speak in, with a certain dialect, with a certain tone, with certain grammar, when speaking to certain crowds. You have to be very professional. And that's one thing we always try to be in diverse and fact, always try to be professional. And another point in being professional is adaptability. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, about a month ago. This was about a month ago. We were at Cascades Park just rehearsing around, and all of a sudden, this dude just comes and is like, "Hey, hey, hey, y'all, 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 y'all play instruments?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, we we play trumpet, sir. We play trumpet." Just like, "Well, I'm trying to propose to my girl. Can y'all play for me?" And we're just and, and, and at, at the time, at the time, it was just me and Jeremy just standing there waiting on other people to come practice, and we're just like. I, yeah, I, I guess we could do it. If everybody else comes. No, I don't even care if it's just two of y'all. You know, just, just come, just come and play for me and my girl. Play for me and my girl. And then next thing you know, it reaches in his pockets, it gives us forty, it gives us forty dollars out of nowhere just to play for him. And luckily, two other people came, so of course we had to split it ten, ten, ten. It could be twenty, twenty. <laughs>
was a co-founder. Um, we were just, we were like, like it said in the history um, that Jeremy read, we were just getting together and we were just playing for student recitals. It was, it was the day for Trumpet Studio and we just, we just got together to play because there's, there really isn't a trumpet ensemble on campus, so we just got together and we're gonna have a trumpet ensemble, we're just gonna meet. And then as, and then as we started to practice for that, you know, uh, I was over at Brian's apartment one day going over the music, and he was just like, you know, we, we should make this a thing, we should make this a thing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And, but we should make it our thing. I said, oh, okay, let's, let's do it. You know, but uh, Brian being the person that he is, uh, a very charismatic person. He pulled in everybody, pulled in Leroy, Frank, we got together, we played. And then even after that, he pulled in so many uh, former members of the 100. Uh, all of them were still in school, but they weren't playing. He pulled them all in. Uh, I think at the most that we had at that time, that was the highest uh, number of players that we actually had at that time. We were at like around 15, we were like 15 strong. And he pulled all of those members in himself. You know, I'm, I'm a freshman. Oh, sophomore at that time, but I didn't know these people, you know, but he pulled them all in and we, you know, we began something great, you know, and that's charisma. But one thing that you can't have, one thing that you can't have charisma without is passion. You can't have charisma if you aren't passionate about what you do. You know, if I wasn't passionate about music, if I wasn't passionate about about playing my horn, if I wasn't passionate about helping others, getting others together, you know, this wouldn't this wouldn't have continued. Because Brian went home, a lot of members just kept dropping off, gotta go back home, graduate, gotta go back home. Don't feel like playing my horn no more. Right? And all, the, all the excuses and, 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 and a lot of them moved on to um, bigger and better things and we still hold them dear to our hearts for being a part of this. But if, if we don't have passion for what we do up here, then we can't move on, we can't be what we are, and we can't make good music together. So that's one thing that we have is passion and charisma. And the next word that, um, that really leaves an impact is character. Character, the meaning of character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. Now, a lot of people talk about character. They talk about good character. They don't talk about bad character. Everybody has good character, but a lot of people have bad character. One thing that we always want to have in Diverse Impact is good character. As we're, as we're moving on to these new ventures with, with younger students, high school, um, maybe eventually middle school, hopefully you know, in a few years or maybe in a few months, who knows, who knows what lies ahead. But as we interact with younger students, we have to have good character. You know, we have to be of good standing in the community, good standing you know, with parents and students. You know, we, we, we can't can't be all outside doing, well, I'll say doing bad. I was, I was, I was about to, my mind was about to draw back. I was going to start, start going at the old ways. You know, we have to have good character. And that's, and that's one thing I think everybody up here has, um, especially a lot of the older people. You know, I believe we have good character, and I believe that we can make a good impact on students, on your kids, on your family. So we really hope that, you know, we can set a good example for others to come in. And a quote that I want to um, quote that I want to say for character is by Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher. Basically, um, he said in one of his videos, um, "Your talent can take you places where your character can't keep you." And I, I, that, that that really and I I haven't watched this video in about a good year and a half. But as I was sitting down trying to figure out what I was going to say. I saw the character. That was the first thing that came to my mind. You know, because we all want to be great. We all want to go places. And sure, some of us may be good enough to go play in Juilliard, go play in, in, a, in a famous Philharmonic, but if you don't have good character, people aren't going to work with you. And I really think that, that as we progress, people will be able to see, hey, that percent, that come in. Those are really good, upstanding guys, and they'll want to send their students, you know, our way, and we'll be able to grow and be great. And the next word, uh, service, serving our community, service. The meaning of service is the action or process of serving food and drinks to customers. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It's a little light joke. But really, the meaning of service, the action of helping or doing work for someone. <laughs> but one, one thing we want to do is diverse impact. We really want to serve our wasn't in the history, but we 
have done a lot of community service. We played on. Cherry Laurel, Cherry Laurel, and um, what was that? Sorry, it, it escapes me right now. But we have played at two nursing homes. Uh, we played at Education Inc., which is a daycare center um, on the south side of town on Orange Avenue. And we really, we really enjoy playing for people and really bringing music to people. Because no, no matter what they say in on the internet, in the news, in the newspaper, you know, they, they like to say that. You know, there's going to be more jobs for, for music educators. There's going to be more of this for music. You know, all these students are, are going to are going to have music as a mandatory class in their curriculum. You know, they can say all these things, but you can go into your child's classrooms and see in these band rooms and in these music rooms, you know, if the teacher isn't there telling them what to do, what to play, they're not playing. They're not playing. They're not practicing. They, a lot of them uh, have been in band for four years and don't even want to pick up their own. Why are you in band if you don't want to pick up your own? I don't want to play that. I don't want to practice that. Mm -mm, it's too far. My lips hurt. But, 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 but you, but you want to get the recognition for band, but you don't want to put in the work. But one thing we want to do, we really want to serve our community and really encourage the younger folks to really stay in music. Stay in school, first of all. Stay in school. You have to stay in school. That's one of our first priorities. Um, you have to stay in school. You have to learn. But we want you to stay in school. Also, stay with music. Music can open many doors. Even if you don't, even if you're professional, you don't want to be professional. You know, in music, you know, it's all. It can always help you along the way. You know, it, it can be something on the side. You know, it can help get scholarships. You know, it's very helpful. And we really want to show people that. You know, a lot of us up here aren't music majors. Not all music majors. Um, what, what do you do? Um, agronomy and soil sciences. Agronomy and soil sciences. Soil sciences. Soil sciences. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not, and, and, and playing trumpet. You, you, you would never put those two together. You wouldn't even know that exists. And yet he's up here playing it. <laughs> so we really, so we really want to, you know, serve and really get music out there. We want to serve the music community. And last but not least. Lifelong friends, creating lifelong friends. I'm pretty sure everybody up here can say that no matter what, even if we couldn't, even if this couldn't be possible, even if we weren't able to find a venue after we weren't able to play at FAMU anymore, even if Cascades Park wasn't available, if if some if some form or fashion Divers Live had just had to be shut down forever, I think we can all say that we're all friends and we're going to be friends for a very long time. And we, we really want people to, to be a part of this and really have good camaraderie with each other. You're not going to work with people that you don't like. You're not going to work to your best ability with people you don't like. But we have a good atmosphere in our group. We really enjoy playing with each other. We enjoy being around each other, talking to each other. And I can really say that, you know, these people up here, I'm, I may not be able to see them, you know, after a, certain, after a certain time, I may not see these people ever again. But, you know, they'll always be my friends, you know, for a lifetime. And, yeah, so we thank you all for coming and listening to us, how we sound, listening to us talk, make bad jokes, <laughs> you know, get, and get ready for this. We really thank you and we appreciate it. Dr. White, we really thank you. If everybody in the room is thank you. We're on a wing and a prayer. We, we didn't have any air conditioning anymore. We was out there with the gnats. It was so hot. And I, and, and I talked to Dr. White after a good little bang. And, he, and with, I mean, without hesitation, I don't even think I finished the sentence asking him. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, just, just, just come on, just come on. You know, you, you can practice it at any time. And it's, I can't tell you, you know, how, how great of a thing it is to have someone in your life who can really open doors for you, you know, for free. <laughs> so we really thank you, Dr. White. We thank, uh, we thank everyone in Goodwill for allowing us to practice here. And we really hope to continue doing things here. So I'm going to stop talking. And before we play our closing pieces, I would like Dr. White to come up and say a few words.
very much, Kirk. Ladies and gentlemen, you must be truly proud of these young men today. Kirk, you said it all. It is not about the money. It's about the passion for what you do. And to hear the way all of you have expressed yourself vocally and with your music is really something. Your motto uh, can really give you something to live say to the parents too that I welcome you to the Fred G. Shell for Prosperity Center. When Kirk asked if he could come here, I didn't know the conditions that he was practicing on private coming here. But uh, I do know that this edifice here is really nice and you can have a home here. You can practice here at any time that you'd like. In fact, I even told him too that anything that I can do to help if I can purchase music for them, I'd be more than happy to do so because this center is built around the need of the community. Uh, we have here this music room, we have a financial planning and computer training center uh, that's free. We have an exercise physical fitness room that's just a, far, a smaller version of Gold Gems of Premier. And all of that is free. If, if sometime during the day you want to come in and work out, just take a look at it. And so those kind of things are very important. And the other aspect of it, you mentioned serving the community. Well, this, uh, this organization serves exceptional students, talented students, advanced students such as me, but we also serve another population, disadvantaged and individuals who may have special needs and accommodation. And uh, we pride ourselves in the things that we do, and perhaps sometime you can come and play for them too because it will certainly be an inspiration. I'm sure that you're an inspiration. My son just started playing trumpet uh, a few weeks ago and he played on a program today, and I'm sure that he is inspired by what you're doing. So I commend you. Keep up the work, guys, that you're doing because you are having a direct impact on the music, and I'm sure that is what you intend to do. Most certainly, parents, I'm not going to stand between you and this fine music, but I do welcome you to the Fred G. Shell for Prosperity Center.
Chris himself plays keys, piano, plays bass, ooh, percussionist. And then we also have um, Xander uh, with his twins on, but Xander plays, his principal instrument is French horn.
and I'm, I'm a junior. Oh. Those, two, those two people sitting over there drove me across America. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs>